Hey guys, if you remember from the Akaya Pearl video that we did two weeks ago, I was having quite a bit of issue in regards to connecting the Akaya app to the Akaya Pearl. So after that video, I reached out to Akaya support and I was able to get in touch with Nat, with whom I was able to hop on a Google Hangout call and solve the issue that I was having. And TLDR, we ended up using the Akaya Pearl updater app that we were trying to use last time. However, for whatever reason, it didn't work when I was trying it. But anyways, this week I wanted to get this video out to you guys so it will help address some questions and of course to finish up the part that we didn't get to finish up last time with the Akaya Pearl unboxing video. And before we cut to intro, I do want to mention two things. The first thing is after I spoke to Nat from Akaya, one of the main reasons why I was having so much issue was because the Pearl that I received was purchased from one of the major retailers here in New York. And as it turns out, they have not placed another order with Akaya for many many years. So chances are this scale has been sitting in the warehouse for a very long time. So I actually got one of the, I guess the first Akaya Pearls that was uh, ever released. Hence why the firmware was on 1.74. You pretty much need to update to version 2.0 and up in order to unlock a lot of the features uh, such as the turning Bluetooth on and off and some of the auto tear features that I added later on so that the feature set of the Pearl is actually more on par with that of the Lunar. And given the recent sale on the Akaya Pearl, there might be more of you guys out there that might have the same trouble that I had uh, on the first video. So if you purchase one of those older Akaya Pearls, hopefully this video will help you address the issues. And the second thing I want to mention before I start the video is to give a shout out to one of my viewers, Matthew, for pointing out my mistake in pronouncing the brand name Akaya. So as you noticed from the previous videos, I've always thought that the pronunciation of the brand was Akaya, but as it turns out, it's actually Akaya. So while I try to make my videos as informative and as accurate as possible, I really, really appreciate you guys pointing out the errors that I do make in the video so this way we can all learn together. So with that said, we are going to cut over to our overhead cam and let's get today's video started. All right guys, so let's get into this update video. The first thing I want to mention before we even get started, uh, last week when I was taking off this plastic film, I don't know if you remember, there was this blue film, which was, you know, technically looks like this. Uh, when I was taking this off, I was not actually aware that this is actually a two layer piece. And it's probably because this inventory has been sitting in the warehouse for so long that these two pieces was really like stuck together. So when I was taking this off, uh, I was not aware that this is two pieces and this clear piece on the bottom is meant to be a protective layer that's meant to be rested on top of the scale. And the purpose of this is really just to prevent scratches. I've spoken to Akaya and they have informed me that this is not really necessary as long as you are keeping the rubber padding on the scale at all times so if you guys are also purchasing the scale just keep in mind when you're removing these two layers just remove them very very carefully so that you don't accidentally remove the protective layer like I did now if you actually did the same mistake that I did you could reach out to Akaya and you are likely going to be able to get a replacement from them so again just be careful when you're moving these two films. So like I said in the previous video, the original version of this particular scale that I purchased was version 1.74. And that was the reason why we're having so much trouble finding all of the se extra settings and of course all of the functions that was supposed to be on the original Pearl. So if you're having a similar issue, the first thing you need to do is figure out what version of the firmware you're currently on. So how to find out the current firmware that you're on, the first thing you need to do is ensure that the scale is currently off and then you want to hold the power button until it says the word set. And then you want to go ahead and press the T button and that's gonna take you to the beginning of the menu. Now, while you're here, uh, you want to go ahead and just press the power button one more time and that's gonna show you what the format you're on. And currently we were on 2.009. And this happens to be the latest firmware that I have updated the scale over to. So in order to upgrade the firmware to the latest version, you actually need to download the Akea Updater app, which is the app that I have open on the screen right here. Depending on the version that you have, you may or may not need to enter a specific password. For the firmware version 1.3 and older, the password is 1249. And for firmware 1.5 to 1.83, you want to enter the passcode of 0415. Now, where do you enter that? Again, we want to make sure the scale is off and you want to again, hold the power button until you see the word set and press the T. This is actually where you do it. So for example, 
I was on 1.74, which is newer than 1.5, but older than 1.83. And therefore what we want to do is enter the code 0415. So to increase the digit, you want to tap the tear button and to move over a digit, you want to hold the tear button. You probably want to do this very slowly because there's no way to back up a number and there's no way to go back a digit as well. So essentially, if you make a mistake, you need to sort of start this whole process again. And so just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to enter the code here with you guys. The first digit we do not need to touch. So you hold tear. Second digit, you want to press one time two three, four, hold tear, one, hold tear again, one, two, three, four, five. And that is the code that you need to enter in order to get this to into a update mode and pair with your Pearl Updater app. Open up your Pearl Updater app and you click on start and that's going to hopefully detect your scale and enter the, the update process. If it does not detect your scale, like what happened to me the first time, you want to ensure that you turn off anything else that's connected to your Bluetooth. And of course, if you were trying to use the Akaya app before, you want to make sure you turn that off as well. And sometimes it might actually be helpful to go ahead and turn off your phone altogether and turn off the Akaya scale altogether so that you could be freshly paired to the Pearl Updater. Now, once it is paired, you're simply going to go through the screen prompts and allow it to go through the update process. For me, updating from version 1.74 to the current 2.0, I believe, what, 2.009, took about roughly eight to 10 minutes of time to complete. And once that's completed, you're going to unlock several new modes as well as switching the power off function from long hold the power to double tap power similar to that on the Archaia Lunar. So again enter 0415 and go ahead and click on T one more time. It's going to the update mode, pair to the app and start the process. And hopefully this will solve the issue that some of you guys might be having in terms of trying to pair the older Pearl to the Akaya app, as well as trying to find those additional functions. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that once you press uh, next, it's actually going to give you a couple of options in terms of which version you would like to update. So there is the option A and option B. So the difference is that option B will have all of the modes turned on by default, and option A will really just turn on the weighing mode, the timer mode, as well as the auto tear mode. I recommend going with the option A just because it gives you the three most popular functions turn on by default. But if you prefer to have option B where everything is turned on by default, that's fine. You can also alternatively go into the menu and turn each one on separately. And of course, I'll show you how to do that as well. And to actually choose which option you would like uh, is defaulting to option A. You can click on this right here and you can actually select option B or if you want the older uh, 1.8. So once you have that selected, you click next, locate your scale. Uh, in this case, is the Akaya scale that we have right here. And then you click on start firmware update. This progress bar is gonna run. Like I said, it's going to take about eight to 10 minutes to complete. And that's it, you have your brand new firmware. And one more thing I want to mention is that once you're in this update mode, for example, you made a mistake, or if you're like me who already updated the firmware and you don't actually need to update, the only way to get out of this is by connecting a power cable to the scale. As you can see, no matter which button I press, it's actually not gonna take this out of the update mode. So you go ahead and take a power cable and you are just gonna connect it. Take it back out. And that's it. And that's how you get out of the update mode. All right, so with that said, I'm going to quickly go over to the updated modes that's on the Akaya. So the first thing I want to bring up is that originally, in order to turn off the Akaya Pearl, you want to hold the power button until it turns off. With the update, you simply tap the power button twice, similar to that on the Akaya Lunar to turn the scale off, which is much quicker and much simpler. The other thing is regarding the five new modes that you're getting. So the first mode is obviously your weight mode, which is this. Again, it shows one digit and it will just help you weigh the beans or uh, do the pour over with a single digit, but without a timer. The second mode is going to be the timer mode. With this mode, you're getting a single digit with no decimal space. Press the power button to start the timer. You press again to pause it. And of course you press it a third time to clear the timer. And since we chose option A, the third option that is enabled by default is the auto tear mode. And with the auto tear mode, in case if you're not familiar, 
Once you place a container or carafe on top of the scale, it's going to auto tear to zero. So you can immediately start making your beverage without having to press the tear button. And that can be pretty helpful. Now, besides those modes that I have mentioned, there are three more modes, the auto start, the beverage, as well as the espresso mode that you can enable separately through the menu. Again, you want to turn the scale off and hold the power button until you see the word set. Now, of course, go ahead and do the tear button as well. So now what we want to do is cycle through all of the digits by long holding the tear button one more time. And that's gonna get over to the actual menu. So first you have the sleep, and of course this you can set how long it takes for the scale to enter its auto sleep mode. Uh, let's just go ahead and leave it at five minutes. And to go to the next item on the settings menu, you simply tap the tear button. And you can temper with the rest of the items in this menu if you choose to. I'll go ahead and link to the digital manual uh, in the description down below. But for this video, we are just gonna go ahead and cycle over to the mode menu. At this point, we have reached the mode menu. So with the mode menu, mode one is espresso mode. Mode two is timer mode. Mode three, is auto start mode. Mode four is beverage mode. This mode is kind of interesting where it will kind of guide you through the process of making a pullover. Basically the first time you enter this mode, it's going to say cup. Then you put on the carafe or the cup or whatever it is that you're brewing into, followed by filter and followed by pour. Essentially what it's going to do is auto tear each one of the steps and it's going to take into account the total weight of the gear uh, that you're that you're putting on top of the scale and at the end of it is going to automatically subtract the weight of the gear to give you a reading on the actual liquid i don't think it's the most useful mode just because i feel like it might overcomplicate the pour over process but it is there in case if you guys want to play with it and of course the way to turn this on and off is by holding the tear button currently i have it on off you tap the tear button once to turn it on of course, you tap another time to turn it off. We are going to go ahead and leave it on off. You long hold the tear button to get out of that item. The next item is mode five. The mode five is auto tear. Um, as you can see, it's currently on and we are just gonna go ahead and leave it on. Followed by the reset and then the Bluetooth set. Now, this is the menu item that I was looking for, which was completely missing from the previous 1.74. So again, if you wanna turn the Bluetooth on and off, you simply long hold the tear to enter the menu. Now you can turn it on and off as needed. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and leave that on and we cycle to the beginning of the menu again. So, like I said, I'm going to leave the full guide in the description down below, just in case if you guys really wanna get into what each one of these um, menu items do. I just want to give you guys a quick idea of what the most updated app on the Pearl entails. Now, to of course completely get out of this, you simply go ahead and press the power button once and it's going to show you the current firmware again. And now we are at the scale again. Now, before we sign off, the last thing I want to show you is the Akaya coffee app that we weren't able to connect to last time. So as you can see here, the most important function of this app is obviously to provide you with some of the community's poor records as well as having your phone act as a remote scale. So if you first press on the remote scale, there are no readings here at this current point. So how to pair this is that you want to go ahead and open the menu here, click on the gear icon and select scale. And I have all, went ahead and named my scale rabbit pearl. So go ahead and click on that. Give it a several seconds. So as you can see, currently on the app, rabbit pearl is already paired up. And again, prior to updating to the latest firmware, I was not able to do this. As you can see, this time is a lot easier. It paired instantly. So once it's paired, you go ahead and go back to the remote scale function. And now if I go ahead and press on the scale, you will see the reading. And of course, what's pretty interesting is that you can choose the type of uh, brew method that you're using, whether it's a Kalita Carafe or you are doing a V60 or simply like a espresso um, brewing cup. So again, it's just going to give you this simple graphic of the um, liquid being filled up. And this I can see being useful if you want to digitally uh, record your pour or 
if somehow the container that you're using to brew into is bigger than the scale, which I think should be pretty rare if you're using the pearl, but for something like the lunar, where the container might very easily obstruct the view of the numbers, you can actually have the number on your phone for easier viewing. And again, just a side reminder, if you're having trouble pairing the app, just make sure that you don't have any other Akaya scale currently connected to your app, or if your app are currently connected to another Akaya app, such as the Akaya Brew. I was told when I was conferencing with Nat from Akaya that even though the app is smart, it does have certain limitations. And of course, they're working on improving the app to be better in the future. As of this current point, if ever you run into a connection issue, just double check to make sure that there's only one scale paired to one app. And of course you ensure that anything else that was connected to the app has been disconnected. All right guys, hopefully this video update has been helpful. If you know anyone that's having issue with the Akaya Pearl, uh, go ahead and share this video with them. I think it will help them out as well. So as you know, I always try to share my most honest and true experience with the products that I'm using. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do, do this first impression in one whole video, but I'm glad that I was able to find a um, solution to the problem I was having in the original video. So if you're new here, I would really appreciate you guys taking a moment to hit the like button and of course the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Leave comments down below in the video if this part two have helped you out. And before we sign off, I just want to give a quick shout out to Nat from Akaya one more time for taking the half an hour out to help me out with the scale. And if you happen to be watching this video, I know this was an sort of an odd case for you, but it was an overall interesting experience for me nonetheless. As always, please take care and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.